Hi there, me again. Um, it's late in the night. It's currently 9.51 in the evening on Sunday. Um, I've made a video in a couple days. A couple reasons. One, I was traveling. So we're going to do another letter of the alphabet now that I've got home. Um, we're going to do L is for limitations. Yep, so that's right. L is for limitations. So uh, Friday, I got on a bus because I'm not able to drive. Uh, and then a train. Uh, and then a bus to go home to visit my brother, his wife, and my nephew. Um, and then today I got on a bus and then a train and then a bus again to come home. And while I was down there uh, on the Saturday, my brother had some yard work he needed help with. I figured, well, I'm already down. I might as well help. Um, didn't do a lot of physical activity and it wasn't really, really hard. It was basically taking two loads of cedar tree debris and they weren't like thick cedar trees to the dump um i got completely exhausted by that so i had to go down and take a nap um um and my brother and sister-in-law and my my nephew by proxy i guess were brilliant and, and highly supportive i basically listen i i, I I need need to lie down, and they were completely supportive. Uh, about the three hour mark, my brother came and woke me up because it was dinner. I was already I already had stirred on my own and figured I need to get out of bed. But um, I was still a bit groggy that night, and this morning um, I wasn't at my best. I know that. So basically, when it comes to limitations, and it doesn't really matter where you are in your stroke journey. Um, be it just had your stroke, be it you're in a rehab and recovery facility, be it you're like me and you're at home and you're a little over three months post-stroke, and you could be months, months, months down the line, um, years even. You, you need to know your limitations. Um, you need to accept them. Uh, partly because if you choose to not accept when you might need a nap or when you know, you may or may not be able to travel or, you know, whenever your limitation, whatever that may be, presents itself, like stairs, um, you would want to um, prepare for that and accept the fact you may have some difficulty. So one of the things I did on Friday while traveling down to Toronto, because I knew I had to travel back through Toronto to get home, um, I basically rehearsed getting to the train from the train station uh, to the bus station because uh, I knew I would have to do that on my way home and I wanted to make sure on the way home because I wasn't sure how frazzled I was going to be or not um, I took the time to rehearse that uh, so that way I, I knew the route although I've taken that route many times before <sighs> however that was before my stroke. The aphasias come out. I'm sorry. Um, it's because I'm very, very tired. Uh, so when it comes to your, your limitations, one, sometimes you may be able to rehearse before an event so you're prepared before you go into it, like I did on Friday for my journey today, this being Sunday. Um, in other cases, you may have to be willing to accept the fact that something just happened and your plan for that moment just happened to change as well. So I had planned to be able on Saturday to be up and be active and, and go visit a good friend uh, down in my hometown. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do that. I'm going to call him tomorrow and apologize because I didn't get a chance really to do that today. Um, and I, I made plans, um, kind of tentative, loose plans, nothing really firmed up in stone. But I made plans, and unfortunately, I, I didn't get to it. Um, I kind of hoped I could have. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, that being said, I, uh, I went to my brother and sister-in-law and said, listen, I, I need, need to take a nap. And they were really decent about it, highly supportive about it. And I'd like to thank both of you immensely for that. Um, now, does that mean every limitation will be that the exact same limitation today as it will be six months from now, no. Your limitations 
they may expand. What, what you're able to do today may not be the exact same thing in a positive sense of what you can do tomorrow. So, and I'm going to assume the reason why I got so quickly tired is because I'm fairly young post-stroke, right? It's, it's not that long ago. Um, and there's a lot of bending over. So and that's one of my pieces of kryptonite right now is bending over. I know that. But basically, when it comes to your limitations, you have to accept the fact that, A, A you have limitations. Right? B, you're going to have to accept the fact that these limitations will require modifications in your routines or your activities or even what you would plan to do immediately. Um, you know. And um, when it comes to that, you're going to have to be able to go to the people around you and tell them, hey, listen, I kind of need to change plans, right? Uh, I know we had planned to do whatever, or, um, you know, I, I, I need to go lay down, right? Whatever that might be. Um, and, I, and I realize that's not going to be an easy thing to do. Right? I, I appreciate the fact that you're going to have to sometimes maybe disappoint people, um, you know, uh, because that's just going to be a thing. There might be times where, depending on what your limitations are, it, it could be a drastic change in routine. It may not. It, it all depends. But you're going to have to accept that part of your new normal is limitations. right? Um, and I, I hate really starting to hate the phrase new normal. I'm, that might do N is new normal. I realize that's alliteration, but get over it. I'm not doing N for new and N for normal. I'll just do one for new normal. Um, so... When it comes to your limitations, you have to be honest with yourself. And, and I, I found that really difficult to do on Saturday, um, partly because I was with people, um, people I hadn't seen in a while, and I didn't want to feel like I was disappointing them. But I realized partway through that I don't have a choice. If I don't go put my head down and take a sleep, I'm going to just crash, and it's not going to look particularly pretty. So I, I made the conscious to, to, I made the conscious decision to go lay down, right? And and because of that, um, I was just basically don't want to use the word blunt. I, I don't want to do that. Um, but direct, I get blunt, yeah, um, realistic, um, I basically went to my sister-in-law and my brother and said, listen, I, I, I gotta go lie down, right? However, I also told them, you know, don't walk on eggshells because of me, don't change your routines, do what you, you, you need to do, I'm just gonna go lie down now, and then we're gonna work it out from there, and then dinner was shortly thereafter. Another limitation I found out, um, I don't have the same appetite I did before my stroke. Um, my brother made steak. Fuck, was it yummy. <sighs> it was yummy. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't have the same appetite at that, at that moment in, in time. Um, so, it's a thing. Apparently, when I get really tired and, and really kind of on my chin strap, I... Uh, um, it just... Yeah, it, it, I don't have the same appetite, but that's okay. Um, and just because you're going to have limitations does not mean you need to live in a sense of fear or inability or... Uh, you know, or just waiting for a shoe to drop. You're going to have, let's face it, you've had a major neurological event. You have, right? Um, and because of that, you're going to have to accept the fact that due to a major neurological event, there's going to be changes in your, your routines and your habits and your patterns. But that doesn't mean you like cloister up and pine away and, and just expect expect shitty sh shitty things to happen right um you've got to accept the fact that yes i have limitations but yes i still have to live my life i'm, I'm not living in fear of my stroke i'm trying to assault through it as best i can 
I'm not living in fear of another stroke. Um, I realize I'm at a higher potential, higher p p percentage for another stroke. Um, but that doesn't mean in any way am I, you know, holding my breath and waiting for this next nasty thing to happen. Um, if it's going to happen, fuck, it, it's just, 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 just going to happen. Um, am I waiting for it? No. Do I expect it? No. Do I want one? Uh, no, 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 not again, ever. Um, but I've accepted the fact that I've had a stroke. I've accepted the fact that I'm going to have to live life at times with a few limitations. Um, I've accepted the fact that if the people around me truly are supportive, they're going to support the fact that I'm going to have to modify my day from time to time. And if they can't accept that, well, fuck you. It's about that simple. Um, you know, I'm sorry. If I need to go for a nap, I'm going. That's about as simple as that gets. Um, if I need to disengage from a scenario or a situation because it's, you know, too stressful on me, I'm going to tell you that I'm disengaging and then I'm disengaging. And, and again, if you have an inability to understand that, well, fuck you. You know, um, and, and, and again, it's, it's not that I'm trying to limit how, when, where, why I interact with anyone or place limitations on how anyone chooses to interact with me at any given point. It's the fact that there are going to be periods of time where for my own selfish self-interest, I'm going to have to do things that are meant only to help me out not so much you. Um, basically, I'm going to need to go for a nap. I'm going to need to be in a quiet room. I'm going to need to, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, one of the reasons why I took the bus and then the train and then the bus was it was the only way to really test myself in crowding noise, no, no, noisy environments um, to see how well I can cope with it and I dealt with it okay. Um, asterisk, you know, citation needed. Um, okay. Uh, I dealt with it on the way home. It was a bit more than I probably could handle uh, at times. Um, man, because it was a bit noisy. On the way down, uh, on the GO train, leaving Toronto for where I was heading to, uh, it was noisy in one car so I moved to another car purposely because the car I was on was just too noisy um, on the way home um, it wasn't bad so to speak um, but then again I was able to have headphones in for a while and, and listen to some YouTube videos um, not, not of mine of other people that I happen to follow or subscribe to or just enjoy listening to um, you know, uh, and ultimately, because you have limitations, means you're going to have to find a way to have many stra strategies uh, to deal with what might come up. For me, um, if I'm in a very noisy, crowded environment, I put headphones in, I take, plug them into my mobile phone, I go to YouTube, and I put on a video, and I just listen to it, and it blocks out the ambient noise. Right? That that works for me right now in highly noisy a lot of people environments mm. usually works uh, that being said does it work every single time no not every single time it works generally well but there may be times where it might not work as well as I would like it to and there's really nothing I can do about that. Um, but that being said, that's just, you know, the way it's going to be. Um, but with your limitations, embrace them, right? Right now, your limitations are your obstacles, right? And you got to learn how to breach through those. Are you going to be able to breach through every single one? Maybe. Um, and again, I've said before, when it comes to goal setting with a stroke, um, setting a time... It's not so important as setting a target, right? Because with the stroke, I can't guarantee timelines. Neither can the doctors, right? You won't be able to do this ever, but yet you end up proving them wrong that you can do it. Well, the doctors gave you a timeline, that timeline being not going to happen ever. So, and then you gave yourself a target and you learned how to do it again. 
be that read, be that walk, be that talk, be that drive, be that whatever. Um, there are going to be times where you may feel the necessity to set a time-based um, goal. I'm going to argue if target is more important. I need to be able to do 20 push-ups. I need to be able to walk up 15 stairs. I need to be able to learn to bend over and tie my shoes. I, um, I would say the target is more important than the time. Because again, what I could do today, there's no way I could have done this two months ago. Not a chance. Not a, no. If I tried to do this 30 days after my stroke, I'd, I'd be a basket case, right? So, um, then again, 30 days after my stroke, I was still wondering if I was ever going to be able to go back to work again because I had a lot of symptoms going on that I perceived would be a significant obstacle. And they would have been. Had they, had they con continued, um, they would have been a dis significant detriment for me possibly ever going back to work. Um, now I see going back to work as a possibility. Um, it's just a matter of getting through a few more hurdles and, and dealing with a few more professionals to create a return to work plan between them, me, and my employer. Right? So again, it's me, your humble, friendly neighborhood stroke assaulter. Sorry, I haven't done a video in a couple of days. Uh, I've been out traveling. Um, didn't really have the opportunity to make a video. Um, thought about it, but didn't really have the chance to. So that being said, um, if you happen to like what you've been watching over the last little bit longer than three months, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. Uh, and if you happen to see anyone around you, either in yourself or someone around you, going through the signs or symptoms of stroke, um, that being facial droop, uh, the inability to raise both arms e equally effectively or at all, um, the inability to smile equally effectively at all, slurred, stuttering speech, kind of like this, but worse, um, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, uh, the inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.